It's preparing. Fed Live. Okay. Hey, Laura, how you doing? It's Wednesday here in Chicago land. It's gorgeous out. Hump day. How's oh, it going? I am doing great. It is absolutely beautiful out. I like when the temperature goes down a little bit here in the Chicago area. We are so excited today. We are going to be interviewing one of our former classmates that we were really good friends with. This man is unbelievable. It's Paul Tobias. Him and his wife, they own um, Tobias Music in uh, downtown Downers Grove. Well, actually, it's not downtown, but it's, it's, it's on Fairview Avenue in Downers Grove. But I am so excited because he is just amazing in all different ways and how he gives back to the community and everything. So with that, I'm going to introduce Paul Tobias. Hi, you guys. Hi. Thanks so you? much. And, and you're right, it is a really nice day out there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm always kind of sad uh, when uh, Labor Day weekend hits and summer's over, but I also have to say that September and October here in Chicago definitely has the best weather. Yes. Uh, you know, so I look forward to that. Uh, the dog likes hanging out in the backyard much better when it's a little cooler out. So uh, yeah, I can't beat this. It's just a beautiful day. But uh, yeah, so uh, uh, welcome to Tobias Music. Uh, we're in one of our showrooms here. Um, our store, my uh, parents opened back in 1978. Um, that's when we, uh, the three of us were juniors in high school. And the room I'm in is actually their original store. Uh, when they first started, it was kind of more of a, I almost want to say almost like a hobby shop type thing. They were only open three days a week. Uh, my mom and my sister, one of my brothers used to work here back in the day. Um, and they picked this location, uh, as you mentioned, we're on Fairview Avenue, just uh, north of the railroad tracks, uh, because I just grew up four blocks over here. My parents are still there. And they found this little storefront that was available. Um, both my parents were musicians as we were growing up. Of course, my father was in the Air Force for 25 years and in the later wow. years kind of turned into more of a weekend warrior but um, they were more musicians too my uh, mother was a uh, the guitar instructor for Hinsdale High School District um, Addison Trail High School District mm. and she set up the guitar program through the uh, local YMCA here in Downers Grove uh, in wow. Bob, YMCA. wow that's interesting um, my father in his spare time, again, in the Air Force and stuff, a lot of traveling in his younger days. Uh, but he did play with a couple other gentlemen, kind of duo type things, um, you know, coffee house events and stuff like that. Um, nothing overly serious, but I still remember uh, going to see him perform a couple times when we were kids. So um, you know, music has always been in the family. So as time went on, they thought it might be kind of cool to open a little guitar shop here in Downers Grove. And again, they picked this location uh, because it was right down the street, they could walk to work. And who could imagine 43 years later, wow. still here. Um, wow. Interesting story with the, uh, the room I'm in right now. Um, again, my parents' original store. Uh, when my brothers and I, my sister, uh, were all youngsters, grade school, we all went to uh, St. Mary's grade school which is about six blocks over mm -hmm. here. And when we were all youngsters, I, my mom used to cut all our hair when we were kids. Oh, and probably for budgetary reasons with six kids in the family. But uh, in second grade, uh, we got treated to our first real haircut because we made our, our first Holy Communion at St. Mary's. And the room I I'm sitting in right now, when I was a kid, was a barber shop. Oh. And I cut I got my first real haircut right in this room when I was wow. in grade. And who would have thought all these years yeah. later, hanging out here on a daily basis. Uh, you know, so my parents opened up again, kind of a part-time thing. Uh, my father's uh, career with the Air Force was done. Uh, he worked for a scientific company for many, many years. Um, still carrying on with the, the music and everything. But there was a point uh, later in the 70s where uh, he was laid off his, his real gig, his job, and he needed to look for another job. Well, back in those days, the one family typewriter, the typewriter that our family owned was up here at the store. 
So Pops would come up here to type out all his resumes and send them out to try to get another job. Um, during this time, he could see the business was starting to grow. Uh, more uh -huh. in the store. He was taking a liking to, uh, he's always been a handyman, uh, did a lot of repair work on scientific equipment. Well, that kind of transferred over to guitar repair. And he started working on guitars. This is probably early 80s. And as it turned out, it started to seem like, hey, maybe the family could survive with this guitar shop alone. So he kind of faded away from those job resumes and he came here in the store full time. And that's when things really started to grow. Um, you know, of course, uh, you mentioned my wife, Pat McCann, uh, uh, Downers Grove North, class of 79, we were Trojans. Um, we ended up purchasing the, purchasing the business uh, about 15 years ago now. Um, as the business continued to grow, and my mom at that point, 15, 20 years ago, was really turning into more of a professional grandmother. Mm -hmm. and her time in the store kind of backing off, which left my father with more hours in the store. Um, it got to the point where, hey, they were successful. They, they, they started thinking about retiring. But this was such a fun little store. He really hated to, to let it go. So the discussion turned to us kids. Again, we have six of us in the family, my sister and four brothers, myself. And is there anybody interested in taking over the business? Um, I had spent about 25 years working for Campbell Soup and Pepperidge Farm, uh, holding various positions over the years uh, near the end, uh, writing a lot of preventative maintenance manuals and procedure manuals for the Pepperidge Farm bakeries. And it's kind of weird how it turned out. Um, you know, we have four kids, my wife and I, Pat and I. So we had all our health insurance through Campbell Soup and Pepperidge Farm. Okay. So when it kind of came time to talk about changing professions, not just myself, but amongst the other family members, um, I was the only one that really could transfer family health care benefits over to my spouse's employer. So Pat's been in healthcare her whole life. Uh, at that time, she was with, uh, I lose track, either Edward Hospital or DuPage Medical. Also great benefits, but we could transfer the whole family over to her mm -hmm. healthcare benefits, where my brothers and my sister, none of them had that opportunity. So it's really kind of weird how the whole decision was kind of based around healthcare. <laughs> yeah. Now, fast yeah. forward to this day, how, how important and how in the news, how, how, how prevalent healthcare and health benefits is, well, this is going back 15 years, it was still very important. So long story short, that's really how I ended up here. Um, I, I, I have to uh, make it clear that I certainly wasn't the chosen one by my parents. Um, again, with six kids in the family, but really, I had the opportunity to switch the whole family to uh, Pat's healthcare. So that's how uh, Pat and I got involved. She is co-owner. Um, early on, we knew it was going to be tough surviving in this small space, uh, the room I'm in now. It's about what six, seven hundred, six, seven hundred foot showroom, with my parents having most of their storage uh, inventory stuff at home because it was right down the street. That's mom and pop business. That's how things roll. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. as Pat and I started getting involved, that's, you know, 15 years ago is when the internet was really starting to take hold and your competition was no longer any other guitar shops here in the Chicago area or the Western suburbs. But now your competition is nationwide because of the internet. And we knew we were probably going to need, uh, more room to expand in order to compete in that kind of business climate. Mm -hmm. um, we looked around Downers Grove to find a bigger shop, um, looked at a few places. We wanted to stay right here in Downers, but really didn't find a place that fit real well. Um, so we decided to kind of put it on the back burner, let, let me get my feet wet a little bit with the business, uh, learn a little more. And in the meantime, kind of out of the blue, uh, the owner of our building, uh, as some of you guys might remember, Midwest Ballet Company was in mm -hmm. the building, and they're the ones that own the building. My parents just leased this, probably what, about one-sixth of the building for their store. 
uh, the ballet company decided to downsize to the other half of the building. And they offered us all the space in back, which was a large ballet studio. And we thought, oh, this is great. We have our chance to expand and not have to relocate. To right. no so we took over the space, uh, did a lot of the work ourselves, turned it into a really cool showroom. I certainly don't want to brag, but it's a really homey feel. It's almost like coming into somebody's living room, which was something we kind of wanted to portray part of our marketing. We did not want to have a generic guitar store. Mm -hmm. uh, we deal in a lot of high-end stuff, a lot of high-ticket guitars. So we wanted more of a, a laid-back feel in the store. So did all our remodeling in the big room. Uh, everything went well. All our longtime customers loved the expansion. Um, a few years after that, the ballet company decided to, uh, uh, she decided to retire. Uh, it's just all her grandkids were on the West Coast or East Coast. And uh, she's traveling back and forth. And she had been doing ballet her whole life. It was time for her to retire. So at that point, we bought the building, which um, basically doubled our space from what we were then. Uh, have to excuse me, there's an ambulance going down the street right now. Uh, we are right at Fairview, so it's right by Good Samaritan <laughs> Hospital. So all day long, we deal with the, uh, the ambulances going down. So anyway, by taking over the other space next door, which was another very large ballet studio, um, we decided to put in a con concert venue and did a lot of renovations over there. Uh, we can now seat about 75 people. It's, it's a really cool room to see a live show. Uh, we host a lot of in-store events. A lot of people rent it out for private events. Um, you know, so we have a lot going on now here on the block. And, you know, as we, we do mention my wife, Pat, often, I mean, she's the one that really is kind of kicking butt around here. Um, you know, I'm the one, the laid back one that gets to hang out in the, the guitar shop all day. But I always say she's the brains of the outfit. She's the one working behind the scenes to really keep this place ticking along. Uh, she does a lot of the accounting stuff with QuickBooks before it goes to our accountants. Um, she's the one that handles a lot of the inventory control and stuff. So she's a, you know, she's one of the reasons that we're here and we've expanded and done pretty well over these last 10 or 15 years. So you know, I got to give her a lot of credit. I don't know if we would be where we're at today if it wasn't for the, again, the brains of the outfit being Pat McCann. But uh, fun store. Um, how blessed am I to come in here and hang out every day for a living? Um, I live a mile away. Um, how neat is that? No rush hour traffic or anything. Um, the country's still going through a, a pretty wicked time with this whole pandemic. Um, but in line of what you guys do with the health and wellness thing, uh, music is a very soothing thing. There's a lot of uh, holistic power behind music. Mm -hmm. Got to think of what a powerful force music is in not only our lives. I mean, hey, we grew mm -hmm. up with 70s rock, you know, yeah. the, the greatest generation of music ever. Right. But, you know, since the beginning of time, music has been a part of everybody's life. Um, right. Such a powerful force. Uh, you know, we, we, we talk about it here. I mean, uh, just music in general, there's that certain song you can play first thing in the morning to wake you up and energize you. Mm -hmm. There's a certain song you can listen to in the evening that might soothe you and help you go to sleep. Uh, there's certain songs that bring that little tear to your eye. Um, but there's also certain music that uh, give you the feeling like you can take on the world. So uh, again, the power of music and the fact that I get to come in every day and be a small part of that. It's just really cool. Again, I, I feel very lucky, very blessed that I was kind of given this opportunity. Um, again, just a fun shop. Uh, deal with a lot of longtime customers. Um, our lessons program, though, lessons program got hit pretty hard because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, we employed 10 teachers. We had over 150 guitar students a week uh, when the pandemic hit. Uh, that's starting to limp back. We're about maybe 60% back of what we used to be. We all know that's going to take a while to build it back up. But guitar sales um, in this internet age, uh, that's what carried us all last year when the country shut down. Uh, people stayed home and played guitar. Um, yes, some people were hurting, but you know, quite honestly, there's a lot of people that weren't 
overly impacted by uh, financially because of the, uh, the pandemic. They were still working. Uh, mm -hmm. Government was throwing out money left and right. Um, yeah. Sales were really strong last year. Um, you know, right. again, certainly not bragging. Uh, we've been yeah. blessed. Our, uh, everybody stayed healthy and all our bills got paid. Uh, never had to take advantage of any of the government assistance. And it really seems like we made a, it took it to another level with our online sales. We always did okay. Uh, our bread and butter is right here in the store. But with everybody stuck at home last year, everybody shopping online, we saw a huge increase in internet sales. And it really seems like that's carried over. I'm not really big into this uh, Google analytics and algorithms and search engines and all that. That's just uh, you know, not my cup of tea, but it seems like something really clicked last year because now our internet sales have continued to be kind of off the charts. Customers are back in the store. Um, our repair service, I, quite honestly, we can't keep up with the amount of repairs we have. Uh, for guitars and amps. And uh, this coming Saturday, we do have a live show booked, our, our first oh, live event oh, in great. eight months. Uh, we're taking it kind of slow. We're not going to do full capacity. Yes, everybody be wearing masks, but we have such a beautiful little auditorium uh, next door. And it's been a shame to have it sitting idle um, all this time. And I have to say, we do own the building, so it's not like I was paying rent and not using the room. We were afforded the luxury of just waiting this out. So we're going to take it slow with the live events next door. We have to be a little careful. Um, you know, Pat was spending her whole career in healthcare. She's also been the guiding light through this pandemic. With right. the um, you know, keeping everybody on their toes, uh, requiring masks in the store, hand sanitizer, around mm -hmm. and even in these live events some of our marketing it's a little awkward i i feel it's i don't want to enforce that vaccine thing but we did put it in our marketing stuff that vaccine and masks are highly recommended you know just to kind of put it out there mm -hmm. um, i don't want to be the one at the front door checking people in saturday night asking for their vaccination card so by putting it in the marketing, I think our group all knows what we're talking about. I think we'll be pretty good. And again, we're kind of limiting the, uh, the attendance over there. We don't want a room full of people. We can fit 75, 80 people at times, but we're going to try to keep it around 45 for this show just to spread everybody out a little more. So um, that's Tobias Music in a nutshell. I mean, again, how, how lucky am I? to be able to come in here and hang out all day, uh, deal with some ridiculously talented musicians. Our, our uh, lessons program, our teachers are all uh, extremely talented players. They're also very good teachers. Uh, just because you can play guitar well, doesn't mm -hmm. mean you can teach guitar mm -hmm. well. So right. we really focus on getting that, uh, that combination of both. And, uh, you know, I think by maybe the end of the year, our lessons program should be back where it was pre-pandemic. But uh, awesome. fun times here on uh, Fairview Avenue in Downers Grove. Well, first of all, I just want to say, I got to say this. I have to tell you a couple of things. First of all, I want to say that I have clients that actually come in and have done open mic when open mic was. Oh, very cool. In. Very cool. And I think that's something that we got to make a, a, a plan to get a bunch of us to go and be, be there to see this. Cause I've, I've they actually, some of them have said to me, you got to see this. And they've actually showed me the video. So it's pretty cool. But yeah. I want to also say one thing that for all our listeners and audience that know you and don't know you, can you, when we're done, this is all going to get posted on our For the Health and Wellness of You. It's going to be shareable. It's going to go into a YouTube format. It's going to be on there. We're going to make sure Paul can, you know, go ahead and you can share this on your website or Facebook or sure. wherever you want to do it. But could you also put some links in there, especially for people who are listening that don't live around here? You know, we've got a lot of classmates and friends yeah. from Downers Grove that have moved to other places along sure. with all the connects and people that have actually joined our group, because we have so many people that we, we've met through a person, through a person, through a person, and Christmas is coming. <laughs> and so we know, <laughs> honest to God, it's a great gift. And you think about it, Paul, you hit the nail on the head. 
Lori and I talk about this all the time. Yeah. Music lifts your spirit. Music, you know, like you said, you can hear a song and you can hear a song that means a lot for some certain reason. I can hear a song and think about, oh my gosh, that was the summer between this year in high school and that year in high school. And we were at this event and, and, and you know, all these different things. And it makes us just all happy, you know, and it makes us feel good. So but I do want to say one thing I have to say. I, I know it's been a couple very um, affluent, let's just say, people in the music industry that have popped into your store because they know that you have the things that they're looking for. Or maybe they popped in. One in particular person, I think, popped in because they needed their guitar to be adjusted or something. Can you do, do tell us and share with us who they were? Because it's kind of cool to hear this stuff. I think it's fun. Yeah, Um you know, we've had Kevin Bacon and his brother here. Pretty cool. Um, you know, they were they are Taylor guitar players. Um, you see some of the guitars behind me. I'm actually in a Taylor guitar showroom. Uh, Taylor guitars are based outside of San Diego and kind of considered like the Mercedes Benz of the guitar industry. Mm. Um, a lot, lot of high end stuff, a lot of cool stuff, though they have stuff in all different price range. Um, you know, we're known for Taylor guitars. My parents were one of Bob Taylor's original dealers when he was just starting out. Mm. Um, right. We've been with Taylor guitars, I believe it's about 38 years now. And wow. 38 years ago, no one heard of Taylor guitars. So we were the uh, first store in the Chicago area, first store in the state of Illinois to carry this brand. Um, so we got to be known kind of as the Taylor guitar store, though we carry many other brands also. But Kevin Bacon and his brother are Taylor guitar players. Uh, they, a few years back, they had a uh, show scheduled here in the area. Um, through the grapevine, they heard that there was a big Taylor dealer in the area. So they just decided to stop by. I still remember sitting at the desk and the door open. I was like, oh, I think that's Kevin Bacon. Oh, and that's <laughs> his brother. Uh, how cool is this? You know? Mm -hmm nicest guys in the world just came in with uh, some of their bandmates just hung out and played guitars if you didn't recognize their faces you would have thought they're just one of the gang just hanging out here in the wow. store um just really cool we had uh one of our other classmates so you guys uh, K uh kelly uh vander walker kelly han who yeah. i knew at the time was a big kevin bacon fan and I had the opportunity, and I knew Kelly was working from home at the time. She lived across the street from me. And uh, I knew at the time she was home, so I had that split second to sneak away and call. I said, Kelly, get up here. Kevin Bacon's in our store. And I could hear the car screeching down the street. <laughs> I believe it. Brought her two kids with her. And... Oh my God, I thought she was going to faint here in the store. It was just so funny to see her reaction. Um, interesting little uh, side note with that. Um, after all the hoopla was gone, uh, they offered to take pictures with us, which I thought I didn't have to approach them. Hey, can I get a few pictures for our website? They came to us and said, hey, do you want pictures for your website? I'm like, nice. yeah, I can, I can do that. So when, when it was done, when they finally left, I grabbed my phone to call my wife, call Pat. And knowing she was at work, I was like, you won't believe this. Kevin Bacon was just here. And she said, did Kelly know about it? <laughs> and yet we live across the street. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. I go, yeah, as a matter of fact, I had a chance to call Kelly. And she said, Paul, I saw Kelly squealing out of the driveway. Was she coming up to the store? And I go, yeah, that was it. And then there was a pause and she said, Paul, so you'll call Kelly, the neighbor across the street, but you didn't oh. call your wife. <laughs> to tell her Kevin Bacon was there. Well, Pat always worked, was working uh, just that one day by chance. She got done a little early. Oh, and she boy. Went, of course I would have called her, but I was assuming she was at work. Yeah. So we still uh, joke about that. Um, We've had Jim Peterick in from uh, Survivor and Ides of March. Uh, he's kind of a good friend of the store. Uh, he's been in many, many times. He lives local, right? Doesn't he live local? Yeah, he, uh, he lives, I, I believe, in Burr Ridge. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, I, avid guitar collector. He's probably got one of the best guitar collections in the world. Uh, there again, the nicest guy in the world. Come in and hang out. 
he's a little more flamboyant. He's got his purple hair and everything, but <laughs> he just wants to chat and hang out. It's not all about him being Jim Peterick. It's about, wow, I love this store. Come on, let's hang out. Let's play some guitars. Uh, so that's always pretty cool. Um, had a lot of great performers over the years. Uh, maybe not A-list performers, but uh, Adrian Legg from the UK, who was uh, Guitar Player Magazine. He was voted guitarist of the decade for 19. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, Eric Guy is a big West Coast acoustic jazz player. He's been here numerous times. Uh, you might recognize the name Muriel Anderson, who is uh -huh. a North, North graduate, uh -huh. but went on to become one of the world's greatest guitar players. Um, sometimes you'll read one of the the greatest women guitar players, and I'm, I'm cautious with that. I don't like to put them in categories like that, yeah. uh, but she's world renowned, lives down in Nashville, but her family's still here in Downers Grove. Uh, she's performed here. Uh, Pierre Ben Suzanne from France, one of the greatest finger style players, um, just an amazing, amazing player. And when you're getting these fairly big names, and we can pack the house a couple times, we had to uh, uh, schedule second shows because there was so much demand for tickets. And uh, again, we'll continue in that. I'm, I'm thinking probably next year we'll get more involved with a, a steady schedule, but. We have to pace ourselves. Uh, the pandemic's yeah. nothing to mess around with. And because it is a enclosed room, yes, we have proper ventilation and we're using our heads. I personally am not ready to have 75 people in a, a room. Right. Like, yeah. you know, we're just going to wait it out right. and see how it goes. So uh, again, another little fun little aspect of Tobias music. And uh, again, not bragging, but we do get to hang out with some pretty cool people. From cool. That's great. Well, we, we actually know, I'm looking at the time, we definitely went longer than we normally do, oh, but it's yeah, okay. But it was worth it. No, no. It's okay. It is it's okay. Awesome. We, we want people to talk. know. It's okay. We want people to know this. And I just want to say thank you for taking the time out. Sure. It was hard to get you, Paul. I know one last thing I want to close with, and, and then Lori, I'm going to turn it to you. I know you just got, you know, one of the reasons you had that nice portrait picture is because you actually just have something you I don't you just were part of you were nominated for something that I oh, think is important to share yeah the uh National Association of Music Merchants uh NAM N-A-M-M -M, worldwide organization that is not only the the backbone for retail music industry but just music in general. They're the group that send all the representatives to Washington to pound on, pound on our elected officials to get music back in the schools. Um, they're all over the world supporting music making. Okay, uh, They're based out in Carlsbad, California, um, been around over a hundred years. Um, we're a member of NAM. We joined the association. They also host the big trade shows twice a year for our industry. Again, with the pandemic, that's been a little bit on hold. Mm -hmm. um, but I've, yeah, I found out uh, a month or two ago that I've been uh, elected to the uh, uh, board of directors for NAM, oh, nice. which was it's kind of cool. Um, you know, I have to in all my emails, I I point out that Pat's the brains of the outfit. You know, pe people see me a little more because I'm in the store, but right. it's really going to be a team thing with Pat and I because right. she's very involved uh, co-owner of the business. So uh, very flattering. Um, you know, I, I have no idea at this point what it all entails. Uh, really, it's going to start in January. Um, but yeah, I was caught off guard. I was, I was really surprised by that. So um, it, we'll see how it goes. I, I know there's a lot involved. There's some traveling involved. But uh, again, how blessed am I to, mm -hmm. to be able to hang out in a family business all these years and maybe even bump up to this board of directors thing. It, it, it's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Well, I, I have to say this and I'm turning to Lori. I want to say something that's so cool. You just mentioned getting music back into the schools. I don't know if you know this, but Lori's son, Tony, is a music teacher and, and, oh. and is very musically inclined and, and she can share that right now telling you a little bit and then I know we got to close it out and I'm just thankful that you were able to be on with us today and we were able to you know just share all this and Laura I'm going to turn it to you to say tell us a little bit about Tony to you know so oh. Paul knows and then also close us out too sounds good but, okay. yeah you know Paul first I want to say 
I love the mom and pop approach to your business. I mean, that's how my flower business is. You know, there's not many places where you could go where you could say, hey, Paul, how you doing? How's your family doing? How's your wife back doing? You know, there's not many places like that anymore because everybody goes to the big box stores. Exactly. But you know what? It's awesome that you have that. That, that I'm sure is probably an asset to your business. People really like that. But going back to my son, he's a, a elementary uh, music teacher and he has got, he's got those kids fired up. Unfortunately, with the pandemic, they have to wear masks and it's hard for them to sing or sure. Stuff, so, but um, yeah, he's got a passion for it. He feels that you have to get the kids when they're young because that's how they develop the love for music. So that's why I chose uh, elementary school. But, well, there's all this stuff in the news too about learning a musical. You, know, you can research this online. Using a musical instrument it doesn't have to be guitars, which is what we do. Right. Too. But you're working the same part of your brain as math class. Right. And in the early stages, and this is what uh, one of the things that NAM promotes, is that working that part of your brain at a young age is going to help with all your other studying, all your other courses in school. It's it's been proven scientifically with all the research. Mm -hmm. so, um, I like that. You know, music needs to be in the schools. Yes. Uh, if not, the parents really should. And I know school budgets are always a little rough. Um, parents need to get their kids into some kind of music, whether yeah. it's going to here piano lessons with the neighbor, anything to keep that one part of the brain active. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, yeah, so that, your son, that's that, that's great that he's also helping promote music making. Oh yes, he loves it. Absolutely. He teaches private voice and guitar and piano too. So very good. Yes, to this. Very good. Yeah. But with Congrats that, we're gonna them. say you guys have a great day. Happy Wednesday. We'll see you. Oh, this Friday. was awesome. Thank you, Paul. Put your info on. Thank you so much. Please okay, give thank a you. for us for Pat, okay? Definitely Take care fun now. time. Bye, everyone. Thank bye you. bye, guys. Thank you. Bye.